A common problem students have is understanding the present perfect simple and the past simple. Which one should we use? When should we use it? The good news is, although they can be confusing at first, they're actually quite simple once you understand their differences. Let's take a look at the present perfect simple first. The present perfect simple has three functions. We use it to talk about past events, recent past events, and unfinished states. The first function is talking about past events. To understand the past events function, let's use a timeline. So on the left, we have the past. In the middle, we have the present. And on the right, we have the future. The present perfect simple indicates that something happened in the past, but we don't know when it happened. We just know that it happened sometime in the past between the day that you were born until now. Let's use an example here using the sentence, I've been to Australia. This means that sometime in the past you went to Australia. Now, be careful of the difference between being and gone. Gone means that you went there, but you're still not back yet. Being means that you went there and then you left. And of course, we don't know when you went. It could have been last year or 10 years ago. So when someone asks you, have you been to Australia? It means, have you been there any time from the day that you were born until now? We often use never to emphasize negatives and ever to emphasize our questions about past events. So for example, have you ever been to America? No, I've never been to America. The second function of the present perfect simple is talking about recent past events. We can also use just, already, and yet for emphasis. For example, Mum, have you finished cooking dinner yet? Yes, boys, I've just made your favourite. And finally, the third function of the present perfect simple is talking about unfinished states. Just remember, we use for for a period of time. For example, for an hour, for two days, for the last 10 years. And we use since for a starting point of time. For example, since last night, since three months ago, since the 1980s. Let's take a look at our timeline again so we can understand this better. On our timeline, we have the past, present, and future. The boy met the girl at a certain point in the past, and they still know each other in the present, which is during their date at the restaurant. But they have known each other for two weeks, which means they met two weeks ago. On the other hand, the past simple has only one function, that is to talk about finished events where the time is known. In this scene, Although the time is not mentioned, both the boy and his mother know the time of the date. 
the mother asked her son how his date was because she already knew that he was going on a date. Also, we can use just for emphasis that an event recently happened. So, in this example, the boy could have said, We just broke up. Now, let's take a look at the form for present perfect simple statements. So, the form is subject plus have or has or their negative form plus never, just or already. These words are optional. Plus past participle, plus whatever you want to write, plus for, since, yet, or time words such as before, recently, and lately. Again, these are optional. Let's take a look at some examples. I've been to Australia. The subject is I, plus have, plus the past participle being. Plus to Australia. I've never been to America. Here we used never before the past participle. I haven't made dinner yet. Here we used yet at the end of the sentence. We've known each other for two weeks now. Here we used for two weeks now at the end of the sentence. Now let's have a look at the form for present perfect simple questions. For open questions, the form is WH or how question word plus have, has, or their negative form plus the subject plus past participle plus whatever you want to say plus for. Now the for is optional. For yes no questions, the form is have, has, or their negative form, plus the subject, plus ever, which is optional, plus the past participle, plus whatever you want to say, plus yet, or a time word. Again, these are optional. Remember, WH and HOW question words and FOR are for open questions. Ever, yet, and time words are for yes no questions. Let's have a look at some examples. Have you been to Australia? So we start the question with have plus the subject you plus ever plus the past participle being plus to Australia. Have you finished cooking dinner yet? Here we used yet. How long have we known each other for? Here we began the question with how long and ended it with for. So, to summarize, we use the present perfect simple for past events, recent past events, and unfinished states. And we use the past simple for finished events where the time is known. If you've enjoyed our video,